Welcome to part two of Kinefinity TV's Exposure Illuminated, helping you understand the exposure process in digital cinematography with the Mavo LF. Today, we will talk about the highlight stop setting. Make sure to check out part one of the series where we talked about the basics of exposure with the camera and the difference between ISO and EI mode. In part one, we talked about how an important consideration in exposure is dynamic range, which is the range of brightness intensities from black to white that any camera sensor can capture. Even on a modern cinema camera like the Mavo LF, this range has its limits, so we need to decide how to use that dynamic range. Specifically, we want to decide how much dynamic range should be assigned to the highlights or bright spots of the image above middle gray, and how much should be assigned to the shadow areas below middle gray. On the Mavo LF, this dynamic range distribution can be controlled using the Highlight Stop setting. Highlight Stops allows you to select how many stops of the dynamic range are assigned above middle gray, and it offers a range of 3.6 to 5.6 stops. Whatever's left of Mavo's more than 14 stops of dynamic range is then assigned to the shadows. Remember, Highlight Stops is only available in ISO exposure mode. The benefit to using ISO mode is that no matter which sensitivity you choose, your Highlight stop setting will stay the same. Here's a look at a scene with bright highlights and deep shadows where the Highlight stop setting has an impact on details at both ends. With 3.6 Highlight Stops, you can see the details outside the window are completely blown out. The yellow building is completely white without detail, and the sky reflections on the car are very large. The light bulb on the table is also a grayish white blob. As we raise the highlight stops, you can see that those areas become detailed and nuanced. Here's a second look at the same comparison without the LUT applied and with a brightness waveform so you can see the differences more easily. As we raise the highlight stop setting, the shadow areas are affected as well. As the highlight stops go up, the deepest shadows in the image start to become noisy, especially on the armchair. Once again, here is the same footage without a LUT and with a waveform. Keep in mind that most noise is not apparent after the LUT is applied. However, less noise is of course preferable for more control in color grading. As is often the case, the cinematographer has to decide on the best balance between highlight detail and shadow noise when choosing the most ideal highlight stop setting. In this high contrast situation, it seems that an ideal highlight stop setting is around 5.0. That sums it up for our look at highlight stops. For more information about exposure with Mavo LF, check out parts 1, 3, and 4 of this series, Exposure Illuminated. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more useful demos and real world shooting scenarios with the Kinefinity Mavo camera series. To stay up to date on our in depth tips and tutorials and developing technology from Kinefinity, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a request for a tutorial? Just tell us in the comments. Until next time, happy shooting!